I'm Terry St. Emphasis. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, I had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. A beautiful birthday. I just want to say I thank you. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all of the birthday wishes. Thank you guys so much. Y'all made it so special. I just want to say I thank you. And I love y'all so much. May Father God continue to bless you, cover you, and keep you safe. First things first, y'all. I only have one YouTube page. One Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages. Straight from the divine, Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. Please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and North Node? What does Taurus mean to me? Ooh, Taurus. Oh, it's all about trusting in Father God. Literally, you are not by yourself, okay? You are not by yourself. There is a lot. Ooh, the universe is around. The universe is always around. But, like, literally, you're going to be, like, feeling like you are not alone because you're not. <laughs> your angels and your ancestors are all around you. It's all about trusting in them. At this time, in this moment in time, okay, it's about trusting in external forces around you, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, Father God, okay, to guide you, to protect you, to keep you safe, to give you direction. Okay, and it's because you're elevating. You're a shaman energy. Yeah, it's because you are elevating. What card wanted to flip? Um, there go Father God. <laughs> it was Sky Father. Oh my gosh. Woo -woo. Yeah, trust in the unknown. So at this time, I'm picking up on energies. Y'all, y'all want to know what's going on, like down to like the T. That's not how Father God works, okay? He don't even give it to me like that. Like, <laughs> it's all about, he'll give you like a vision. He'll give you a message. He'll give you a download. And he'll say, work with that. Okay. And it's because he wants to know if you have faith, not only faith in yourself, but also faith in him that he's like giving you that message, taking you in the right direction, and that things are going to work out for the betterment of you. Something about you, your spirituality, your faith, growing, a renewal. Okay. With Sky Father, this card represents Father God. Like, literally, sky father. <laughs> An ego could be significant as well. Yeah, it's time to, to focus on the energy of peace. There you go, being a bull. <laughs> there you go, Taurus. It's time to be a peacemaker. It's time to focus on the energy of peace. You guys could also be staging. Oh, I'm picking up on somebody that likes this. Like, oh, you, you guys like exotic fragrances and scents and all that. Like, look at the bull smelling up the. <laughs> Someone here definitely likes exotic fragrances or good smelling things or incense, candles, perfume. They like good smelling aromas. Okay, this is an energy of letting go of the need to be right. Okay, you don't need to be right with everything. Just like you don't need to know everything when Father God is, is working with you. You don't need to know everything, okay? It's something about you needing to let go of the energy of, you know, having to have the last say, needing to be right, needing to be in control. It's time to let that energy go, Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Ooh. Oh, Taurus. Okay, so it's time to open your heart. Okay, this card wanted to come out in the reverse, but I'm going to take it in the upright. It's time for you to open your heart. Okay, let love in. Yeah, because you have a commitment that's coming in. Things are getting ready to get serious. You need to be mindful, though, that you're not committing to someone that's just using you for money. Okay, be mindful of that because you have gold diggers. Somebody here just, just wants you for, like, what you have, your money. So be mindful of who you're opening up to. Be mindful of who you're trusting in at this time because things are meant to be honeymoon energy for you. Things are meant to be very peaceful, very bliss, very loving at this time. But there is, like, there's an energy that wants to 
come in. Hopefully it doesn't like pop out in the tarot. Like we're gonna, we're gonna try to keep that energy that way. There's an energy that is around you though that you need to be mindful of that definitely is looking at your assets, looking at your financial blessings, and they like they don't care. Like it's an energy that's like they, they keep being your face about it too. Oh, be mindful of that. Okay, yeah, this this person somebody's keeping tabs on you, Taurus. This person is is they don't care. Like they're definitely watching, investigating you. They can even be sending information to someone that's at a distance, like, okay, yeah, this is what Taurus is doing, like, because this is all about communication. The page of Taurus is someone that's at a distance from you. They may not be, like, really <clears throat> in the same state or even, like, in, like, the same environment as you, but they close enough to, to see you in a way, even if this is online, okay? Oh, yeah, somebody here, they're... Mm. It's about to be a shocking turn of events with that tower card wanting to show itself. Yeah, so there's a rejection here. The four of cups, somebody is not happy. Okay. The four of cups, there's a there's a rejection here. Yeah, and it's because you're being guided away from a situation that just doesn't align with you. It don't make you happy. You're not getting everything you want out of it. You don't feel fulfilled with the four of cups. You could even be missing out on blessings that God is bringing towards you because you're too focused on things that you're not happy with. It's time for you to trust where Father God is guiding you with the Six of Swords. Okay, yeah, you guys could be connected to a Virgo or even a water sign with the Knight of Cups. Somebody here is is hiding that they want to come towards you to open up in regards to love. But the Knight of Cups and the Hermit, they don't want you to know this. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio even or another Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn with the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Somebody here is interested in you, Taurus. Oh, I don't want to take this in the reverse either. This is a page of cups individual. Let's see. What's the knight of cups? I don't want to take that in the reverse. It's not good at all. What's this? What is this? Okay. This is a queen of cups individual. Okay, so this is someone that's very loving. This could be a Leo or definitely a water sign. So y'all, this could be y'all energy. This is very empathic, very kind. Somebody here is looking at you like as a sweetheart. You could have water in your birth chart or you could be wanting to go towards a water sign. Okay, there's a renewal here. Somebody here is having like a, a turn of events. So judgment. <clears throat> there's someone that's having an awakening about you, Taurus. The judgment. This person is like having a renewal. Oh, man. Somebody here is really talking to God and they are trying to figure out how they can come towards you. Yeah, that, the, the hermit card wanted to pop out. They are not telling anybody this. <clears throat> Look. With the magician, somebody here is around. So you guys got to be like involved with different people with the six of pentacles because there's this one is to come out in the reverse. There's someone here that is like not giving you equal give and take in a the situation. They're hopeful. They're manifesting like you stay in a situation or you attracting people that like breadcrumb you that don't. Oh, yeah, that really. Yeah, that caused burdens to you with the ten of wands. Somebody has been diligently doing this. Tell me about this queen of cups. Yeah. It's someone that's doing this in secret. Or there's someone here that is like hiding the fact that they like have deep emotions for you with the Queen of Cups. You intuitively know this though with your intuition. You're very intuitive. You're very empathic. Wow. You're very tapped in with the High Priestess. You guys may know this. That somebody here is watching you, that they have love for you. You can even have love for this individual with the High Priestess. Yeah, it's something about wow. Okay, yeah. Y'all definitely need to trust your intuition. Because there's a situation that y'all need to walk away from. It just It is full of bad karma. It's not aligned. Father God is not happy with it. The Wheel of Fortune don't really ever come out in the reverse, like ever. So when it does, it's like, yeah, I can't even flip this up. Like, Father God will say, Mecca, it's in the reverse. It's in the reverse. Oh, dear Jesus. Somebody here. You guys need to walk away from a situation that mm, mm, it's full of like hardships, lessons. What's this wheel of fortune? Yeah, you guys could have been like hooking up with a, with someone. Somebody is like promiscuous. The, the household is upside down with the four of wands. Somebody here doesn't have like no type of stability, no type of structure. They're attached to bad karma. They're not aligned with your destiny. They're not aligned with your purpose, your calling, your mission, nothing. This person has been making bad decisions and like it's coming back towards them full throttle. 
Okay, it's something about somebody being very promiscuous with the Knight of Wands or doing something too quick and jumping into a situation based off emotion, sex, lust, and they got them in a situation that they cannot get out of with the Four of Wands in a reverse. Somebody's household is upside down. This is chaos. This is a breakup, a betrayal. Yeah, somebody's even hiding this. They don't want. Oh man, yeah, it's it's this person could be trying to come towards you with the Two of Wands. They want to come towards you, Taurus. Somebody here is like, I need to talk to Taurus or I need to get like in Taurus's energy. Okay. And it's like this energy is hopeful that you are like feeling an energy of love, but you also are dealing with a six of pentacles person that you need to leave. What's the six of pentacles? Somebody here. Yeah. They were planning on like having a family with you. So there was an energy here that's attached to bad karma that was hopeful that they could like get pregnant by you or, you know, to keep, ooh, to keep a hold on you. Look at this with the four of pentacles. To keep a hold on you and they are very intimidated like you may know at this time somebody here like wanted to like get married have children by you with the ten of cups like it was all to oh ten ten can be significant as well it was all to like keep some type of control keep to keep a hold on your money your assets your resources this person is stressed out now because of something that happened in the past too okay something that took place in the past this person is very stressed out about it now it could be a man y'all this could be an Aries or another Taurus. Somebody here is a father figure. Their life is going to destruction. Their life is going to destruction. Taurus, I see y'all in a very loving energy. And I see this man really having hardships because it's something that he chose to do. Oh, it was a major lesson that this person needed to learn. A major lesson with the emperor and the nine of swords this person is still yeah they're, they're acting like everything is fine but karma is like whooping this person literally yeah there's somebody here is praying like they're they're very they're hopeful they're praying that like a wish could be answered because they are sitting in stress trying to figure out how to get out of some type of court situation how to make something balanced how to balance out their karma what's this wheel of fortune oh the king of cups yeah Somebody here made a decision. Oh my gosh. What's the King of Cups about? It was a, like to hook up with someone. Regret, 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 regret. This person like opened up to love who they, in the, they weren't supposed to. Somebody here went towards a connection and they were like, mm, they gave it their all with the, with the, with the King of Cups. This person is heartbroken that they did this. They were not supposed to do that. They went towards the wrong connection. Somebody here chose like a, a Knight of Wands individual instead of like their true counterpart, which is you, Taurus. Look at this. And they're hopeful. Like if they come in with the Emperor, King of Swords type of energy, like no nonsense, meaning business, speaking the truth to you, giving you the clarity that you need, giving you the insight that you need, that you will be able to warm up to them, see them as your person, see, because this person is going through challenges, hardships. Yeah, somebody here wants you to see, they're very nervous though. They don't know, are you going to still view them as, oh man, somebody here needs your help. They're in a very tough bind. Yeah, they got it. It's, it oh man. There was a Queen of Wands individual. This could have been a fire sign that was involved. This person took action to separate you and your person or to try to bring in hardships, financial difficulties, homelessness. And Father God is exposing the truth so that something can come to a complete end. Something can be wrapped up. Something can be like ooh, closed out. Leo energy is here. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Taurus. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.